I'm in China with Unitree checking out some of the most advanced robotics on the planet. Oh my god! It's on the planet. Oh. From humanoid robots that do kung fu and run faster than some humans to robots that fight each other in the ring, Unitree is pushing the boundaries of humanoid robotics. And we have exclusive access to their factory here in China where I'll be breaking down each robot and even fighting against one. So, let's get into the video. Hello. Hi. I'm Sergi. I'm Yolanda. Welcome to Unit 3. So these are the dogs? Yes. I'm guessing this is the first one? Yeah. 2013. 2013. And then this is just like the evolution of your robot dog? Yeah. Okay. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dogs so far. You upgrade the dog every year or two. All right, so this is kind of like the museum, but those are the ones that we're actually going to be working with today. This one has the LiDAR going on already. We're going to be spending the day experimenting, testing these guys, the humanoids, the robot dogs. We'll be putting the three flagship robots that Unitree are selling in 2025 to the test. There's the cute dog Go2, the not so cute industrial dog B2W, and the straight up creepy but very impressive G1 humanoid robot. So, bah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, good. Everything for Unitree started in 2013 when Wang Jingjing developed quadrupeds during his postgraduate studies at Shanghai University. His first quadruped device, X Dog, was developed in 2013 for his master's thesis. His X Dog went viral in tech media and someone actually wanted to buy his robot. Wang launched Unitree Robotics in August 2016. So this one is mainly for transporting things on top of it? Yeah. Can I get on it? Yeah, sure. Oh my God, I'm surfing a robot dog. The robot dog I'm surfing is the B2, the fastest running industrial grade quadruped. It can have various applications like inspections, search, and entertainment. Wow, and it can do like much more. I mean, I could probably carry like uh, one of those guys. Can I drop him? <laughs> this is so cool. My dog, if I picked him up like this, he would do the same kind of movement. The robot dog I'm throwing around is the go-to. It's learned some pretty advanced movements such as upside down walking, adaptive rollover, and climbing over obstacles, all for $1,600. He can imitate you. You jump, uh, our go-to will jump. Oh, okay. Run, 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 run. Hope he doesn't leap at me. Hey. Wow. A very emotional moment. <laughs> These things are terrifying. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's really close. <laughs> oh my God. I just feel like he's gonna like attack me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the B2's wheeled counterpart, the B2W, is capable of navigating complex environments efficiently, and it's able to stabilize walking on very uneven surfaces, like grass, stone, and gravel paths. Now, as we go from four legs to two, the first generation humanoid robot at Unitree was the H1. Designed for robotic applications, the H1 has great mobility, making it suitable for climbing stairs and a lot more. So this is the first generation, Yeah. H1. Yeah. He looks like he's about to uppercut you. Yes, this is cool. I don't know if we can include this, but did you see he has like actual butt cheeks, like little metallic ones? And this is the G1 humanoid robot, the latest generation of humanoids. It can walk at speeds of over 4.4 miles an hour, climb stairs, maintain dynamic balance, and is even trained in martial arts. One of the most mind-blowing things about the G1 is its price of $16,000. Is it gonna like lunge? Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, it's good. I did karate when I was a kid. You know, maybe I can give him a little roundhouse kick. Three, two, one.
One of the most impressive things the G1 humanoid robot does is keeping its balance like a human would. Watch this. I don't want to push him, but I have to demonstrate what he can do. You know, I feel kind of like mean. Wow, okay. Yeah, he's, he's got good balance. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't push it off balance. Wow, that was good. That was, he stayed up, that was crazy. <laughs> it's pretty smooth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, someone's, someone's coming in to give me a beating. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, okay. Whoa. <laughs> he's coming, he's already, I didn't even get any gloves. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, this was not, <laughs> am I actually supposed to fight this guy? Ah, he's, he's got good movements. After surviving the boxing G1 scare tactics, I'm mind blown by these crazy robots. They move with precision, think on their feet, and look like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. But we've only just scratched the surface. Right, so that was a bit of a teaser to show what these guys can do, but they can do a lot more. Now, before we continue with today's video, if you're as obsessed with cars as we are, make sure to check out svxcars.com. It's our very own premium car auction platform where you can find rare and collectible cars all around the world. SBX Cars is the place where exclusive vehicles are bought and sold across the planet. So whether it's hyper cars or classic cars, we've got it all. And the best part is we have such a wide network that we're able to connect car enthusiasts everywhere in one specific location. Now, with our over 115 million subscribers across all our channels, Channels. It gives sellers an unmatched level of exposure and it gives buyers the ability to find some of the rarest cars on the planet. So what are you waiting for? At least check it out. Have a little look to see what's there, okay? We're gonna leave a link in the comments below and who knows, you might even walk away with your dream car. Let's continue with the video. You might have seen viral clips of the Unitree Combat Competition, which sees two G1 robots battling it out on the ring. It's the first ever humanoid fighting competition and we imagine it will not be the last. And now, it's time for me to prove my human worth against one of these metallic fighters. I'm getting ready for a human versus humanoid boxing fight. Wish me luck. Oh, there he is. So this is who I'm fighting. He's ready. I'm gonna go get my boxing gloves on, ease my way out of I'm getting uh Okay, he's like, it's a little bit scary. I'm getting chased down by a, a robot with gloves on. Honestly, I don't know what I've gotten myself into. I'm just hoping those gloves will soften the metal punches enough. Honestly, I don't like your chances. Me neither. I think your best bet is just to tire oh. him out until the battery runs out. Yeah. Just don't get anywhere near him. Gloves, have you got your affairs in order? Can I have your Pokemon card? I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break my wrist if I hit him hard, though. I think you're ambitious, thinking you're gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. He's he's small. I got I got the height advantage. All right. How's that and feel? Jesus Christ, man! You don't even have a <laughs> I'm gloves just on. Warmed up. I literally <laughs> felt that I'm <laughs> to get hit by a robot. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Okay. You need to be ready. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah, 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 okay. And in the blue corner, weighing 35 kilos, he's made of aluminum alloy, G1, the boxing robot. The red corner, weighing probably less than 35 kilos, assume never had a fight in his life, Sergi. Now guys, come out clean, come out swinging. Let's get it. Fight. Scared of my balls. You know, he's so low. Whoa! <laughs> He's going crazy. I think your only chance is if the battery runs out. champion. Uh, what happened? 
that was cool. I mean, maybe in the future as this develops, eventually you can spar with an actual robot. As I walk away defeated, I want to see the B2W in action. But before that, let's have a closer look at the go-to and what makes it so popular. Right, so this is my RoboDog. It can carry up to like five kilos. It's great for companionship. Does a bunch of different little things. Look, he makes a little heart. Very cute. That thing spinning like crazy is a LiDAR. So you guys might have seen these on like some of the driverless taxis. I've never seen it on a dog before. And that's basically scanning everything. Woo! Ah, okay, he wants a little belly rub. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's cute. But it's not just this. I mean, of course, even though he's cute, there's a lot more that he can do. So let me show you something. You ready? I mean, I can't even do that. <laughs> That's about as much as I can do. Do a backflip. Woo! <laughs> and in total, he weighs 15 kilos. So, oh, he wants to run. Okay, okay. He doesn't like getting picked up. But if you do want to pick him up, it's 15 kilos. And this, for me, is the star of the show. This is the B2W. And this one, it's an industrial bot, okay? So this can carry 120 kilos. I weigh like around 75. So you can ride this if you want. Right now, it's not really activated, but it only weighs about 80 kilos. By far the most capable robot offered by Unitree. It's built for industrial purposes, so you're more likely to see this in a warehouse than somebody's personal home. You can use this for like a million different applications. So, you know, this can work as a firefighter. This can work in a warehouse, for example, to carry things. You can stack things on top of it. There's a million different applications, but what's special about this one is that not only does it carry and move around like flexibly, it's capable of like a bunch of crazy maneuvers. So this in the middle is a LiDAR, 360 LiDAR. It has a camera in the front and it has a camera in the back. From what I've been told, after we see the demo they're about to do, you might understand why today's video is about some of the most advanced robotics on the planet. Give it some space. Ah! 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 He's like, shit. <laughs> I do not want, <laughs> I do not want to get chased by a robot. <laughs> Can you make it do a backflip? Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Did the robot dog just do a windmill? B2W is Unitree's flagship product, by far their most advanced robot. It looks like a dog, but it's really more of an all-terrain machine. With wheels instead of feet and legs that leap like a cheetah, it's built to carry heavy loads and handle the roughest ground like a breeze. Wow, I am shocked. It's just like flying up. That is nuts. Oh my. <laughs> this isn't just cool tech. It's the future of mobility on four legs. For our last bit of robot fun, we're doing what we know best. A good old classic drag race with the three robots competing against each other. Go ahead, place your bets on who's gonna win. So we have G1, Go2, and B2W. My money is on the one with the wheels, but let's see how they kind of like compare with each other. You ready? Drag race time? All right. Hope they don't crash into each other though. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, the G1's off. I could not believe my eyes. The G1 turned into prime Usain Bolt. <laughs> All right, I mean, to be honest, I was surprised at how fast the G1 humanoid was moving. I mean, the second that we said three, two, one, it was just speed walking. So not a big surprise, but I am impressed with the capabilities of all these. And that's a win for the G1 humanoid. All right, huge thanks to Unitree for making this video possible. We asked them to do some pretty unconventional things just for the video, so we appreciate it. Also, big thanks to SBX Cars. Let me know which one was your favorite. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time.